Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlock Pimits Riffing and IT and IT Security. Today, looking at uh, WhatsApp hack, Google Play, and how to detect things like similar names for fraud detection. Uh, I'm coming to you live, live from a snowstorm where I pulled over to record this video. I love it. Get some snow, get some traffic, start sliding all around, gets the heart pumping. It's good, good for the blood. And of course, you, you hope that's the rare exception, right? You hope that that's not something that's going to happen very often and that you can handle those types of errors, that your brakes will, will click in, uh, that you won't slide through any intersections like I almost did a little bit ago, uh, that, uh, that the controls around you will, will save you. Uh, and really, that's, that's what a lot of what we do in security is all about, putting in controls to save people from making mistakes. So the tip for you is this. If you want to save folks from making the mistake of having a name that looks just like another name, use a formula. For example, uh, and I'm butchering the name, Demaro Levenstein, I think it is. Demaro Levenstein Distance. That's the one I'm familiar with. Uh, here's an example attack. Last month, WhatsApp. Update WhatsApp was in Google, it was downloaded like a million times. It was not update WhatsApp. <laughs> it, it was the exact same name. It was the exact same logo. Everything looked the same. Uh, however, those tricky uh, attackers used an invisible Unicode character. And therefore, even though visually it looked the same, there was one character difference which meant to Google Play, pushing things out, that was a different app. So they allowed this malicious app to be injected into the app store. And then when people were, you know, searching on, I need to update WhatsApp, they'd find a couple of them and they'd accidentally click the one that was infected because it looked almost identical. So how do you, how do you prevent against it? Oh my God, it's hard to do because there's Unicode. No, no, there's actually very well known controls for this. A while back, I was involved with um, a fraud detection control. Uh, and I got to write some C-sharp code, and I used the DeMaro Levenstein uh, distance algorithm. Now, I'm absolutely positive I'm butchering that number, but I'm absolutely positive about how it works. It will compare two strings, and it will look for the similarity of those strings. And if the similarity is high enough, you get one number. If it's real low, you get another. Why would this happen? Well, let's say that my name was Wolfgang Gorlick, and I was trying to, like, game the system. So I would spell my name W-O-L-F-E Gorlick. It's still kind of my name, but it's also not. And anything I was looking for exact same string, they wouldn't detect that, right? It would no longer match up, and therefore it would no longer get caught. Fraud detection. The fraud detection control I was working on and helped implement was getting around this by running the Levenstein number and then popping up a list of most likely same names for someone to actually review. So W-O-L-F-E and Wolfgang would be similar enough, especially when in fact in the last name, would have popped to the top of the list and human eyeballs would have checked it out. Similarly, if you are involved with bringing stuff into your network, uh, bringing stuff into your app store, such as Google, um, such as any CMS you may be building, such as a number of different systems, you can run that same control against the name and make sure that name does not bear an uncanny resemblance to some other name. If it does, it could indicate fraud. Now, I'm not saying automatically block it. I am saying give it to some user so they can make that decision themselves. That's it for me. Have you seen anything similar, right? These, these names are almost identical, just off enough, and that allows the criminals to do something cool. <laughs> Comments, social media, hit me up. Cheers.